Kanji's shadow is a rare instance where using an offensive stereotype actually helps the narrative. On the surface, Kanji appears to be someone who is overly aggressive, intimidating, and will beat you down without a second thought. However, this is nothing more than what society has projected onto him. Kanji is actually one of the most sensitive characters within the group. He cares immensely for the safety and well-being of his friends and family, but on top of this, he enjoys cute things, like stuffed animals, and has a passion for sewing, interests that are traditionally seen as feminine. As a boy who understands his gender expression is different from the typical male, he fears that society will reject him like a freak of nature. Therefore, Shadow Kanji is that manifested fear. It's a gross and exaggerated stereotype of a gay man. To fight against this image, he overcompensates by exaggerating his masculine qualities, which is an excellent story to tell about an adolescent boy. Gender and sexuality become important topics during this time because society begins to place expectations about how to express these qualities, based on your gender, as early as adolescence. Kanji's character arc is a great representation of the many developmental tasks adolescents have to go through as they try to find their place within this world. Subscribe for more and check out more detailed videos on my channel.